think about it. In the 1700s and 1800s, there were many technological inventions that changed the American economy, changed agriculture in the United States forever and ever, changed the way that people made money. Now, they were technological advancements that impact the nation. Let's take a look over here. There's five specifically that we're gonna talk about. The cotton gin, the telegraph, the steamboat, the steam locomotive, and the mechanical reaper. Canals are man-made rivers that were created to help the infrastructure in commerce. Now, what am I talking about? It helped the transportation of goods being moved from one location to another. What is a man-made river? A man-made river is called a canal. Canals were constructed in the 1700s and 1800s to help trade. Now, what am I talking about? If you had a man-made river that could connect, say, the Hudson River with the Atlantic Ocean, then you had a wonderful opportunity to move goods from one location to another, and it was like a highway of the 1700s and 1800s. The steamboat was utilized in canals and on rivers and could be used to, to move freight or, or, or goods more frequently and at a more increased pace than, say, a barge of old with no engine whatsoever. Mechanical Reaper made it much more efficient to harvest grain. Uh, say on a plantation there were 20 acres of grain, well it would take you almost forever to get all the grain harvested and, and it would mostly have to be harvested by hand. But the Mechanical Reaper, you could get this done in just a few hours. Thank you to Cyrus McCormick, the inventor of the Mechanical Reaper. The telegraph was invented by Samuel Morse and it's like the granddaddy to the internet. Here today we can send text messages that just take a second or two. but a telegraph back in the day, back in the 1800s, you could actually transmit information across uh, lines and you could receive and, and, and send information very quickly. When previously, <laughs> horses, buggies, and, uh, that, and, and walking, those were your only ways of getting mail to one place from another. The cotton gin was invented by Eli Whitney and it made the harvesting of cotton a much more pleasurable experience. Now if you see these, this cotton right here, uh, within the cotton and also the hard shell, it's very sharp. It would cut your fingers. And think about slaves. Slaves had to actually uh, pick cotton by hand for many, many years. The cotton gin actually increased the yield of cotton that could be harvested from a plantation in the south and made plantation owners quite wealthy. Steamboat was invented and improved upon by Robert Fulton. The steamboat really increased the amount of commerce and trade and goods and services that could be moved from one location to another across rivers and canals. Stevenson is responsible for inventing and improving upon the technology that led to the steam locomotive. The steam locomotive was one of the best methods of transportation that across land that can move goods and other commerce across uh, the land from one location to another. Think about it. After the conclusion of the War of 1812, there was a period of good feelings in the United States, a great sense of nationalism. People loved their country. Now, in the South, there is a developing slave economy that was built on the infrastructure of slavery. More slaves equaled more labor. More labor equaled more dollars. More dollars made happy plantation owners. But how would you improve the agriculture in that particular plantation? You would utilize new and burgeoning technologies such as the reaper, such as the cotton gin, to help increase your yields, to help increase the amount of money that you would make.